Remember Doctor Doom? Uh, I try not to, but let's talk about it. Let's talk about the actor addressing what he believes is the worst version of Doctor Doom ever and blaming himself. In case you forgot or somehow got amnesia that only made you forget Fan 4 Stick, you're lucky. But yeah, uh, Doctor Doom... Doctor Doom was in that film and somehow was worse than the mid-2000s version of the Fantastic Four's Doctor Doom, which, by all accounts, wasn't that terrible in its execution. It's just the way that they uh, set up his origin that was terrible. Either way, though, either way, though, um, let's talk about fan stick Doctor Doom, played by Toby Kebbell. Make no mistake about it, Toby is a good actor. A really talented actor if you've seen him outside of anything that's not the Fantastic Four. This thing, this thing is not his fault. It's not his fault. It's not. That was the problem of Tank the Trank, Josh Trank tanking the tank, and also getting tanked on the set. So the result was this thing. So in a recent interview with Comic Book, Toby Kebbell talked a little bit about the Fantastic Four role. And uh, he says this is one of those things that's just absolutely not what it should have been. And uh, he says, you know, he feels partially responsible for delivering this terrible version of Doom, which, again, I think is a little too harsh on him. He was hired for the job. He's a talented actor, just like all the actors in the film were. That was a super talented cast. It's not their fault that a talented cast delivered a terrible slash subpar performance because of a terrible script and everything surrounding it. Who's here going to tell me that Michael B. Jordan is a bad actor and base everything you know about Michael B. Jordan because of Fant Forstick and not looking at his absolute amazing portfolio of other work? Right? Like, you guys see what I'm saying? And seeing Toby here say that he's probably in the worst movie of all time when it comes to comic books, uh, like, again, I just wish these actors many times didn't blame themselves because it's really unfortunate. And many times when you're in a film like this, that's supposed to be this next big heavy hitter and it bombs this hard, you blame yourself because your career takes a unexpected turn for the worst. Remember Ryan Reynolds? Green Lantern? He blamed himself. And he was almost unable to land any job because nobody wanted him because he was considered toxic and like he ruined that character in his career. But again, it wasn't all his fault. And thanks to that Deadpool leak, it's why his career was saved. I really wish like Marvel Studios could give Toby a chance because I think he deserves it and he could do a really good job. Probably not Doctor Doom because that's already been done and you don't want to draw comparisons, but... There's other roles he could deliver as, and um, maybe in due time. And look at that, I've done a successful fan four stick video and I didn't get angry. Oh my god, this 2023 really is wild.